Hey, how's it going everyone? The Real Dr. Eichmann here. I'm sorry for the long break. Uh, I'll explain in another video. Um, <clears throat> but today we're going to be looking at Trove. And by looking, I mean I'm just going to go ahead and just show you everything I've learned. Because as you can see, I'm level 7. Uh, just a little bit about the game. It is a voxel-based MMO. Uh, a lot like Cube World. If you watch Antignorot, I'm sure... You've realized when he plays this game, he mentions Cube World a lot. I just looked at Cube World. I didn't play it. I watched some videos, and it is a lot the same. Only it's a little, a lot of the same. Only it's a little more completed, as I've noticed. Um, so, whoa, what's up, dude? So I have all the classes, and I'll go through all the classes in later videos, but. To show you just what this game is all about, I'm going to use my level 7 gunslinger. We're in a level 6 and 7 world, um, and there are a lot of portals. <laughs> now, the gunslinger obviously is a ranged character, not a fucking sword slinger, you know? <laughs> but, it's, it's your basic MMO, it just takes a lot of grinding, and oh hey, check that out. We get one of these guys right fucking away. That is a... I'm just going to call him the Dark Knight. Why am I on fire? So I do have my abilities. My first one being the standard shot here. Sorry for the FPS a little bit. Q uses your flasks. That's how you heal. I have this charged shot. Which looks like from a small pistol it shouldn't do much, but... That just wrecked him. Then I can jump in the air with my pistols. And I can also use this little booster here. And as you notice, I was running faster and I wasn't slowing down while I was shooting. That's just kind of the basis for a gunslinger. If you're kind of trying to decide um, what class to play if you are looking at this game. Uh, the Gunslinger along with the Neon Ninja are my personal favorites. The Gunslinger being very easy to use while the Neon Ninja is incredibly difficult to use. Like I said, we'll go over later cla other classes in later videos. And uh, I'll show you guys the Neon Ninja and what I'm talking about when I mean it, he is tough. The Gunslinger doesn't have a whole lot of armor. As you saw, I took quite a few, quite a bit of damage there. Killed this guy real quick. Having all these whoa, I fell in a hole. Having all these abilities does allow for combo moves almost. You almost get into a little rhythm of um different moves that I mean it doesn't have specific combos like some games do, but you can get in a little bit of a rhythm, like with what uh with different um abilities that you like to use in whatever particular order you think is most effective. Now, normally, I'll engage with that charge shot I showed you earlier. As the bad guy's running at me, I'll hit I'll hit my two, which will give me that speed boost, and I'll shoot faster, and I won't slow down while I'm shooting and everything. And I believe it adds more damage as well. And when that wears off, you know, and while using that, I mean, I'll use my my regular attack, and when uh, my my basic my basic attack. And when the guy's almost dead, just for a cool factor, I'll hit that one key and shoot myself up in the air for the grand finale. Oh, it disappeared. No! Ah, oh, I should have picked up that gun. Uh, that was an item drop right there. It was a gun that I probably wanted. So, oh well. Mine are pretty cool. These are ectoplasm pistols. Um, these right here. These are cornerstones. When you hit E to use a cornerstone, that guy did it for me, I guess, it brings up your house, and, uh, did it to be a little troll, I know he did. Uh, well, when we find another cornerstone, I'll show you my house. This is what happens, I, I, I'm trying to kind of slow down a little bit while I explain this stuff, so, you know, nothing moves too quickly, you guys don't miss anything. There are mounts in the game. I have a horse, but of course. Now this is a different biome. This is a desert, a desert biome. There are two that I know of. There's the forgot, I think the abandoned boneyard, and then the desert of secrets, as you guys just saw. 
these guys are kind of tough. As previously mentioned, the Gunslinger does not have a whole lot of... Or maybe I didn't mention that. But the Gunslinger doesn't have a whole lot of armor. And I'm going to grab these up right now. Ah, a melee. And... Triffid Trimmer. Whatever, we'll check that out. B brings up your... Come on. There we go. B brings up your inventory. Mine's pretty full. You're separate. Uh, you have two separate inventories. One's for adventure and one's for build. That put me into build mode, but you can also hit tab, and I'll show you guys that later. You can select the gun I just got, although I don't think I want to now. Oh, oh well, it has that plus 121 maximum health, plus 31 health regeneration. So... I'll take the negative 37 magic damage and minus the two jump and two attack speed for that, because that'll come in handy. You'll also notice that, uh, I'm sure you also notice I picked up a club. It's a melee weapon. I can't use it. But the cool thing about Trove is that you use the same character no matter what class you're in, which means the same inventory, same everything, you know? He even looks the same except for whatever cosmetic items you have on one character doesn't show up on another which is really cool so when I go and play as my neon ninja later off camera I can use that club that I picked up as my gunslinger I think that's pretty awesome if you're playing with other players everything is uh, sh I don't know if shared would be the right word I guess so but instead of like you know, sharing experience and like it splits up the experience in the smaller increments and divides it among the other players. If getting a kill on whatever bad guy gets you 10 experience, everyone around you gets 10 experience. Same with the items. If I... There's not a whole lot to shoot in the desert. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll just do this. I think it works the same way with blocks. I know it does for other items that enemies drop and that plants drop, but I'll hold right click and it destroys an item, puts it in my inventory. Anyone around me would also get a primal red block, which is really cool, which means you and your buddies, you know, they're running around and everything. And you come across an ore, you can send, I mean, because in my opinion the gunslinger is best for mining, because, whoa, what's that? Control pointer. Let's check that out. And I believe that just filled up my inventory. It sure did. What's it do? I believe it doesn't take, it only, it's only diff, come on. It's only difference is it's a, a minus 10 magic damage. So it shouldn't change anything else. And the remote controls, that's so awesome. I've never seen one of those before. That's definitely a level seven enemy right there. Let's take you out. Despite how goofy the game looks, it does get extremely difficult, especially in the dungeons. Now, the dungeons we'll get into in a later episode. I'm not gonna try it right now, but, um. The dungeons, some of them, I think they're just, some of them are just called lairs, and it's like a couple of stories. There's a main boss at the bottom. That was awesome. There's a main boss at the bottom floor, or maybe the top floor, depends. And um, all you do is you go through the the couple of levels, kill the main boss, gives you a chest, usually some pretty cool items, either cause, uh, <clears throat> either uh, cosmetic items or uh, weapons. And there are also dungeons which are huge, and some of them, if I'm correct, player created, that um, you don't want to go in alone. Like the lairs, yeah, you can do them by yourself. It's more fun with other people, but do them by yourself if you want. These dungeons, especially in the later, more diff harder uh, levels, more harder worlds, I should say, you don't want to. You don't want to go in alone. I made that mistake yesterday. 
and died several times trying to kill one boss out of three that were in that dungeon. I got the hell out of there, I should say. <laughs> That's a dungeon right there, actually. I haven't seen a desert dungeon yet, or a du desert lair, I think. The big, red, the big red X means that it's been cleared by another player, which means we move on. There's nothing left to see. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a second. I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and try and find a cornerstone. I kind of want to show you guys my house and every all the items that you can get for your house and your club worlds. So, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, that didn't take long. We're still in the desert, and I found myself a cornerstone. Before we do that real quick, though, because there's... Um, don't think there's any no there's no one else around here except for that bee I can see way off in the distance or that hornet we'll call the bigger ones hornets there are smaller ones I like to call bees because you know they're small we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and gather this stuff up show you a little bit more with this uh, the creative side of trove like I said this destroys and unlike in like games like Minecraft Terraria, there's usually, if you see one or two blocks of whatever ore is on the surface, there's usually a pretty decent vein down below. Like this, it just keeps going down. Now you're probably being like, you're probably saying something like, Dr. Eichmann, you should never dig straight down, au contraire, because I am a gunslinger. And to get out of this giant hole, all I've got to do is... Boom! And that's why I think the Gunslinger is the best for um, mining. I'm going to hop back in the creative here. Also, you can select any of these blocks down at the bottom. And you start out with a lot of those so you can build your house. You don't have to go find them, although, I mean, you will find them. And I, I'm sure they were figuring, like, they're going to find them anyway. We might as well just give it to them, right? I don't know if I mentioned this, by the way. This game is in closed beta. And I'll explain the prices later and how I got it. But you left-click instead, and you can place a block. And it's going to look weird, but it's... Damn it. It's going to look weird, but I don't feel like having a giant hole in front of my house. So now I'm going to hit E on this sign. It says, press E to claim and out from the ground pops my house which is pretty cool so anywhere you are in the world sorry I had to adjust anywhere you are in the world you don't have to run all the way back or ride your mount all the way back to find your house if you find an empty cornerstone you can just put your house there all of your items included For this, I'm going to hop in my Mag Rider, which was a ripoff, by the way, but it does look pretty cool. The reason I say it's a ripoff is unlike my horse, which is pretty fast, my Mag Rider is extremely freaking slow, and I don't know why. I know some Mag Riders are fast, but in this case, it's not. This was a special Halloween Mag Rider. It's actually a casket. And it looks cool, that's why I am i wasn't too upset. But I went to ride it in the battle because one of those dark knights came down on my house. And I was like, alright, I'm going to ride my mag rider over there. And it was like, this is too slow. And it caught up and it hit me and I'm just like, oh man. But anyway, this is my lovely home. There are two stories. This bottom story here, I kind of made just a, a work area. And I put the little table and chair there just for just for kicks, you know some of the uh <clears throat> some of the benches that you can craft i mean it all starts here at the crafting bench you have a pretty give me a second there you go you have a pretty uh extensive amount of items that you can craft a lot of the ones you'll see on my ground floor are right here like the hub portal which is that bad boy over there which takes you back to the main hub we'll go there at the end of the episode uh deconstructor takes items and destroys them but gives you crafting items um all kinds of stuff i mean here's professions a gardening bench uh style saver actually i can i can make that 
which is awesome because I would like to uh, show you guys how easy crafting is. All you do is you hit craft and the bar loads up. Boom! Cool. And now I have a style saver. Don't know if I really needed it, but it looked cool. So you can even craft portals, um, which I have over here. Let's crawl our way over there. This is the portal for the world I'm in now, but and at any time I can go back to the other portals, the other worlds for uh, beginner for beginner characters. Now, why would I need those portals? I don't want to ride my horse indoors. What am I thinking? Because I can come over here and use my class changer at any time. Come on. Class changer. There we go. It's acting a little funny because of bandy cam. Uh, these are all the classes that are available right now, and I have them all. So my knight... I'll go ahead and switch to the knight real quick. My knight's only level 4. If I wanted to grind on the knight a little bit, that sounded weird, but <laughs> if I wanted to play as the knight a little bit, I could go and click on the um, level 4 through 5 portal down there, and it will take me straight to that world where I can start, you know, playing playing on a world as the knight where I'm not going to die all the time, you know? Switch back to my gunslinger because I saw a hornet down there. And the only reason my health is half gone is because my gunslinger has more health. I'm sure it makes sense. Uh, those things on the walls are trophies for uh, enemies that I've killed. You kill a certain amount of enemies, like like the um, walking mushrooms, you'll get a trophy for it. It'll just pop up in your inventory, or maybe it'll drop on the ground. I'm not sure. Um, oh, the rejuvenation station. Uh, you'll notice those health potions are those... Uh, Elysian flasks, which are totally ripped off of uh, Dark Souls, by the way. Um, you'll notice uh, I was using those a lot, and I'm down to 7. You can carry 12. How do you get more? Boom. And it also heals you if you're down any health. And here's my chest, also full of items. You unlock the first two. By the way, uh, to keep from stealing and griefing and whatnot, you can go up to a chest in someone else's house and it will only show your items, which is really cool. So no one will steal anything from your house. And in case you're wondering as well, no, no one can do anything to my house except for me. Everyone can see my house. They can walk inside my house and they can use my benches, my craft, my my you know my crafting bench, my class changer, my chest where they'll see their items, but they can't destroy anything in my house. They can use all of their abilities, you know, and try and blow everything up, but it won't. So they've gotten, they've completely got rid of, gotten rid of griefing, which is amazing. I love it. So, <clears throat> like I said, you get the first two chests for free, chest three and chest four. Well, you got to spend some money, and I mean real world money to get these, I can't remember what they're called, but uh, I guess they're just called credits. These are the in-game credits that you earn by doing things in-game. You can't use that to unlock more chests, so you gotta buy them with actual money. Which, I mean, it's alright. It's understandable. All games have them, especially, you know, but uh, it's whatever. What else did I want to show you guys? I don't think there was anything else I wanted to cover. Uh, but anyways, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll take you guys to the hub, even though it's going to lag like crazy with my frames, because the hub is usually pretty busy, and I'll explain some other things to you. So, be right back. Okay, it's actually not lagging. Hey, buddy. It's actually not lagging too bad right now. Um, even though my FPS is at 9. Eh. I need a better computer. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, I believe Trove is uh, $39.99 at full price. You can get it on Tryon. It comes. It, it has you install Glyph, 
which is, I, th I believe, just the Tryon version of Steam, where you can get Tryon Glyph, Glyph games, whatever they're called, like Defiance and Rift. Um, which, you know, that's it's pretty alright. It's And it's a very simple program, too. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to run. You know, it's not like, like when I'm playing a game on Steam, I have to make sure to have one to zero Steam windows open because it kind of lags my game sometimes, but this one isn't like that. I've got the Glyph window open right now, and it's not doing anything to my game that I know of. But anyways, yes, $39.99. Now, keep an eye on uh, Humble Bundle, or Humble Flash, whatever it's called. Just look up Humble Bundle uh, in Google or something. That's how I got this game. I got it for $3. And I was gonna make a video while the Humble Bundle was still um, you know, up and running, closed out like a week ago, but I just got so addicted to the game that I couldn't stop. So, anyways, $39.99 for Trove for, to get into the closed beta, keep it on the Humble Bundles, because you never know what's going to pop up again. That's how I also got Defiance and some other game I don't really care about. Um... In our next episode, I'll get in. I'll I'll play as another class and see if I can get into a dungeon or a lair and show you guys that. Um, out of the classes that you saw, uh, that would be besides the gunslinger, there is the knight, the fey trickster, the drake knight, and the neon ninja. Let me know which one you guys want to see. I'll show you how to play it, and we'll go into we'll go into a dungeon with some people. Maybe someone you know. You never know. And, um, yeah, this video is running on a, long, a, a little while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what class you'd like to see next. Um, also, I want to apologize again for the two-week break uh, with work in the band and Dr. Eichmann's album. Uh, I got a little bit sidetracked for making videos, but I'm going to try not to have that happen so often. You're going to see videos again once uh, every other day. And I promise that sometime soon, Music Mondays will be uh, will have its first episode. And I do have a video recorded that I will upload later in the week. I did get my October Loot Crate, and I want to show you guys what I got. And it's vid the video is recorded, and I just got to edit it. That's all. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and share this video. Subscribe if you'd like. It helps out a lot. Don't forget to comment. Tell me which class you'd like to see in the next Trove video. I might try and do one or two videos a week. Um, any, any Besides that, like I said, like, share, subscribe. Stay awesome, everyone. Oh, I totally ripped that from Scythe. I'm sorry, dude. But uh, <laughs> I just watched a few of his videos. And they're stuck in my head. But... Uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you later.